Alright guys, welcome back to the first video I filmed in a really long time. Um, I opened, I did an unboxing about six months ago of my Z350 complete. Cleats still holding up, I don't ride the bars anymore, or the wheels. Um, I went, I rode the bars off and on for like, around those six months and switched my old Reaper V2s and been riding these for about the same time, just switching them up every once in a while. Um, these are cracked though and getting a little short, so I do not ride, I ride these stock though. 26 tall on an IH in the IHC compression with a CNC fork, but gone with the CNC fork. <laughs> yeah, I got a new fork um, in that unboxing, and I just didn't ride it for a while because I got love the look of it, but I just didn't want to ride it. It's just a little heavier than the CNC fork, so I rode it. But this thing is, these things are, I've ran out of these for a year. They've been taking such a beating. They're bent upward, if you can see it, they're bent like downward this way and upward that way. So no more of those, so I'm gonna grab, start with the deck, I guess. Z350 deck, super light. I'm gonna get new grip tape and cut it out, like, put three holes in it, but I've been in this grip tape for, like, five months. Super good, super, still super good. Pretty scratched up. Um, I sanded out the front, looks sick. So, um, the dimensions of this deck is, or are, wait, I think, I thought I had a <laughs> tape measure. But I don't like that. So I don't think I need a measure, but I will. Yes, it is. This is C. Right there. Tape measure. Ow. That hurt. Hit like my bars with my hand. Ow. That was weird. Okay. Tape measure. It is 4.8. 4.8 wide. I know you guys can't see it. <laughs> what the heck am I doing that? 4.8 wide. I. Uh, and a shocking ow hurt myself a 19.5 long terrible <laughs> i want to be riding like a 20.5 which is what i'm used to i have a, a 20.5 lucky deck the covenant and a 20.5 uh chris deck this one's um head to angle sucks and the other one doesn't have a break so i'm not gonna ride and the other one's super skinny it's like 4.5 so the dimensions don't match so and then this has that's okay foot space, I don't really like it. 14 inches of foot space in the full deck grip. Also has my sponsor right here, I just drew it on there. Uh -huh. Go go follow on my Instagram, um, GXY Apparel. Um, that's my sponsor. I don't have any shirts with me because they're all in the laundry, but I usually have a shirt. I have a sticker on my helmet, one of their stickers. I don't know what my helmet is, so it's probably buried in like, my closet or my bed. So I'm not going to go get it. But yeah, this is my deck. I am riding in my fork. Z350. Uh, Saber fork. This fork is so amazing. It's not the lightest fork in the world, but it's it definitely holds up. It's mini HIC, though. which That's what I like about it the most is the compression. Super nice. Um, Just a Fusion headset, which is in this box. Um, it's the headset tab. It's just black. It says Fusion. I'm not going to get it out because I don't want to get my hands all greasy already. Um, I don't. I think I'm, I have two sets of bar ends. These fusion bars are meant for steel bars, but I cut them up like uh, they, like a bunch, so like they can fit into my into my bars, or I can just ride my blue uh, envy ones, which they look weird. It makes my skill look like cotton candy color weight, it's super whack. I think I will just go with these though because they're black and they just they but they fit weird, so I don't know 100. percent And the best, probably the second best part about my scooter. I got root wheels. These are the Dylan Ryan signature wheels. Uh, they are 110 millimeters by 24. Like, I li I like them, but they have like holes like all over the hole right there. Just air holes, air bubbles all over the place. But look, like I have ordered these wheels one day, and if you guys can see it, I don't know, but there's holes all around right there. So that thing's gonna dehub so fast. That's a hole right there. I tried to fill it super glue. There should be another one somewhere. Where is it at? Right there. Tried to fill that one with super glue right there. Um and another one right up there. Tried to fill it with super glue. They like they're super smooth and super soft and they're hollow core so they're light. So I'm gonna ride these. Um I really like them, so yeah. There's a bunch of Allen wrenches over here. And probably my favorite part about the scooter, definitely a different it's the new or they're not new, but they're they're pretty good. Pretty new. Envy Reaper V three bars. I remember the last time I did a scooter shake, I'm like, I actually called the NV Reaper V2s, the Reaper V3s, that was when they came out. So these, these are the second version, so they don't snap as easy, I can see there's a cutout there. 
where it's just super thin, and they have three degrees of back, uh, two degrees of back sweep. Super weird, super weird back sweep. Um, fusion hex grips, best grips in the world. These are the black and red swirl. I don't know if you guys can see it. I, I'm using my phone because my camera's dead right now. So, like, oh yeah, you can see it right there. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I didn't really want to charge it. I'm just too lazy. And a uh, tail arc double clamp with a just ride root, um, just ride Raymond Warren sticker and a root sticker, because for Christmas. Oh, I got these for Christmas, and I also got shout out R Dub. I got a sweater and a bunch of stickers from. Them. They're all up there, all over on my stuff, on my helmet and stuff. So I guess let's get on the building. That probably should be what we should do. Let's put this on the fork right now. Where's the axle? There's the fork axle, so I have been uh, in school lately, so no vlogs. It's January 8th right now, and here in Smithfield, where I'm from, I, I live in Smithfield, Utah. It's so snowy, like the skate park, brand new skate park. They just opened it this summer, so it's super frozen. And it's like, for one, it's super wet all the time, and for two, since it's a new skate park, new material, it's super slippery when the winter. Like, even if it's, like, dried up, dried up, it's still slippery because, like, the moisture. So, I just can't wait till the summer again so I can ride. Oh, this, I, I like this fork a lot because the axle, you don't even really need to use any other, any, like, Allen wrench. You can just use a wrench. Like, I use an adjustable wrench and then just tighten it. And you don't even have to tighten the other side. It just stays there somehow. And the Dylan Ryan wheels are on, and they look so fire with this fork. Boom. They're scratched up though. Boom. So yeah, I'm gonna let's put the back. Let's set up the back of the deck. I'm riding a bottom mounted uh, fusion brake, best brake in the world. There's not a better brake ever, in my opinion. This brake is flawless. It doesn't snap. I've snapped four brakes since I started screaming like four years ago. I snapped my envy brake that came on my envy complete. I snapped my mm, on my mad gear complete that I wrote before. I, I took the brake off that and put on my Envy complete because I didn't have a... You can see that's my Mad Gear deck. And then my Mad Gear bars are under the bed somewhere. I don't know. I'm not going to dig. But I got Unions, Snap, Four Months, and then Fusion Bars that I got from my friend. We traded Prodigy Bars for his Fusion Bars because his were too short and I didn't need them anymore. So get some Fusion Bars so I can give to someone that needs small bars and no one needs small bars. So I had to give them away. Um... But tell me if I should do a giveaway on my YouTube for Fusion Bars. I don't know yet. If I, if I don't find someone to give them to that needs bars right now, then I'll I'll post a video. like Kind of like my last giveaway, but less cringy. <laughs> I did a giveaway around two summers ago, about a year and a half ago, uh, for a clamp. It didn't even go to the winner of it. He didn't want it because he didn't ride to say that kind of. He wrote oversized bars, and I had standard standard ones so kj didn't want them which actually he was one of my friends so i'm, I'm glad he got into the giveaway because he won um oh what the heck i don't know where my allen wrench went this is getting hard to do okay there oh tiny where's my allen Oh, That's the thing about brake bolts being so small, you always lose the Allen's. Where'd they go? Oh. Found it. Let's tighten this up. I'm not editing. I'm too lazy to edit, so I'm not going to fast. I don't want to fast forward and stuff. So it's just going to be raw. It's nine minutes right now, so it's definitely going to be raw. <laughs> Yep, there is half one bolt. Very cringy video. I don't really have. I I was bored, so I'm like, let's build this. Let's do a scoot or custom scoot. So that is the deck, brake, and all that on. So let's put the back wheel on now. And it's everyone says like putting the back wheel on takes forever. Back axles, it doesn't really. With my Envy deck, it was super easy. It's not as easy with this deck, but yeah. I kind of don't have an axle for the deck, so I'm riding this half lucky, half uh, fusion axle, which kind of sucks. Or 
I think it's just a full lucky axle. It sucks. I really wish I had a uh, a stainless steel axle, but mine my fusion one stripped, which it stainless steel axles usually don't strip, but I think it wasn't steel. I think it might have been aluminum. So that's why I don't ride it anymore. I don't even know where it went. Let's see if I can do this right. This part takes me. First try. Oh, nope. Not first try. And now I gotta dump it out. Ooh, we can count that as first try. Dang. Okay, now. Okay. Now the hard part. Oh, this is a good coach. We need mask right that much. Okay, let's put it in there, line it up. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, dang, I dropped the bolt. Ooh, I can just use this. Right. Oh, no. Boom, did it. Now, where's the bolt? Oh, there it is. So annoying. <laughs> it's not that hard though. There it goes. And back wheel almost on. And I'm almost done. All I have to do is put the headset stuff on. And this one also. It's like it's not really most of the time I only need one. Alan, you can tighten it. And it is on. Like Donkey Kong. I really play Donkey. Wow. Actually, wait, never mind. I have. It's like three, though. Okay, that was kind of stupid, but it worked. It's not being quiet, but my parents are upstairs. I don't want to wake them. I watch TV, so they get mad at me when I yell. <laughs> they watch the TV. And. Bottom headset? Oh, what the heck? What's it? Why is it red? I don't know, I think that's like paint, but the headset still is perfect. Fusion headsets. Fusion, you doing something good. Like the next revolution of screen. Like you're the envy of the new days. Like, envy used to be like the cool computer company. And mad gear. You're the new them. <laughs> the scooter parts are fire. Wish your decks were a little longer. Like the new SIG decks. Tyler Chaffin SIG deck. That thing's 20.5 long. Whole inch longer than this deck for a fire, but this deck's pretty light. So I usually put cutouts in this deck instead of like the but kinda like the other deck. So fire. Okay. Dude, 13 minutes. But I'm not in it. Nope, staying this long. It's gonna get way less views though. But I don't care. I'm not doing for YouTube. I don't do YouTube for popularity. I just I'm bored sometimes. So I do YouTube. But go get my Instagram. I am at 199 followers right now. And whoever that last follower is, is going to get a giveaway of a crisp high five. So. Oh, and I'm not even going to put them straight. Actually, I might as well. But oh, this part takes forever. Okay, I'm not right IT anymore, so I can do it like this. Usually, like, IT, you have to stand on top of the bar and, like, get it perfectly, and then, like, push down while you're tightening it. Which you don't really. You have to get it all the way on there, though. It is. It is. Okay. And they are straight. And the size bolts, the tilt clamp is size 6, and I lost my 6, so I'm using a 5.5, but it works. And the tail clamp, it takes so long to get off these new bars because, like, the paint is so thick. It took forever to get them on. Like, it's so thick that I can hit it with an Allen wrench and chip it, like, on any part of the bar. So it's super scratched. It's scratched so fast. And they're matte black, so they get scratched even faster. But, like, my tail clamp, I've had it for two years, and it's still running pristine. And yeah. That was my first custom build, like the whole custom build on my channel. Actually, one last thing. Let's put these boxes in.
Oh, and I cut down these bars so they are 22 wide now. Instead of 23. Yeah, let's not use these ones. Wait, wait, really quick, let's just go blue. Because they look cool. And they're easier to get in. Ah! <laughs> easy to get in as I fell. And they look okay. They're blue. That's the only thing. They just don't really match. But they're good. They protect my bars. And I cut, since I cut them down, so they're kind of like choppy on the end. So I, I never ride without bar ends. Do not ride without bar ends. It cuts me in half. But that is my scooter. So, super cringy video. Get out to my channel. Wait, wait, wait. Is it dialed? It's probably not. It is. It's carpet, so you guys obviously can't hear it, but it's dialed. I'm one of those riders that won't ride my scooter unless it's dialed. It's just OCD. And that's going to be it for the video, so <sighs> click sub if you want, and um, like the video, share it, get your friends to watch it. Dang, this is like six, six minutes, um, 16 minute video, and I'm going to end it off before it gets to 70, so peace.